We're hearing Caterpillar's next gen medium wheel loader and the XE configuration. There's some key things the operator needs to know in order to feel comfortable and to be productive in the XE machine. The main difference with the XE versus the power shift machine is the XE uses a CVT transmission. What that means for the operator is the operator never has to worry about shifting the machine. I set my virtual gear or my ground speed and I do not have to worry about ever adjusting that setting unless I want to change my desired ground speed. Whether I'm going into a pile or whether I'm doing a load and carry application, I never have to worry about shifting the machine. The machine will constantly adjust the transmission to produce either torque or speed, whatever I demand. Now, how I set my ground speed using my virtual gear, which you'll notice is in the same place as the gears on the power shift machine. I use the roller on my left-hand steering device if I give the roller on my left-hand steering device a full roll up or down, it's gonna move my virtual gear a full range, for example, from 2.0 to 3.0. If I move my roller in a half a roll, it's gonna move my virtual gears in the tenths range. So you'll notice I can move it just by giving a light roll, I can move it within tenths. Unlike the power shift machine where I have to go up a complete range every time that I shift. What this means for the operator is I can set the exact desired ground speed that I want the machine to run in and I never have to worry about adjusting it. If I'm in a truck loading application and I want to run in 2.0 or maybe 2.2, I can just set that. I can run in that all day long. If I'm in a load and carry application and I want to go a little faster, I can adjust that up to possibly 3 or even 4.0 and I can run in that all day long. The important thing to keep in mind is that no matter what range or virtual gear that I'm in in the machine, I never have to worry about downshifting. As soon as I go into the pile or go into any application that demands torque from the machine, the machine will automatically adjust and produce maximum torque no matter what virtual gear I'm in. Another great thing about the XE Configure machine is I can run the machine using the throttle lock. I can lock the throttle whatever position I want and I can use my left pedal or my modulation pedal to limit my ground speed or limit my rim pull if I'm in a slippery application or an application that I need to reduce the rim pull. No matter what position the throttle's in, even at wide open throttle, I can still use my left pedal to control my ground speed. If I'm in a situation where I'm in a load and carry and I'm coming up the ramp to the hopper, I need to slow the machine down, but I still want maximum RPM for the hydraulics. I can have the machine wide open. I can use my left pedal to slow the machine down. If I'm in a truck loading application and I'm coming up to the truck, I still want maximum hydraulic power, but I need to slow the machine down. I simply depress the left pedal. It will bring that speed of the machine down. It's very smooth. Another great feature of the XE machine is the reduced rim pull button. So button over here on the B pillar. I can hit my reduced rim pull button. You'll see it comes up on the screen. I can set a percentage of rim pull from 50 to 100 that I want the machine to bring down the rim pull. That's great for applications that might be slippery, maybe snow or ice, uh, maybe a sandy condition where I want consistently reduced rim pull. Keeping in mind, I can always use my left pedal to reduce the rim pull even further, or if I don't have my reduced rim pull button on, I can always use my left pedal to reduce the rim pull whenever I want. Another great feature, and both the PowerShift and the XE have this feature, is HP Plus. The machine arrives in the standard mode, but I can toggle between HP Plus and standard mode using this button over here on the beat builder. Comes across the screen, I'm in performance mode now. If I toggle the button again, I'm back to standard mode. You find that standard mode is perfectly adequate for many applications, truck loading, even load and carry. If I'm in an aggressive application, I'm doing maybe short truck loading, I'm demanding a lot out of the machine, I want maximum hydraulic lift power, I'm doing a lot of steering, maybe I need even a little more power than the machine is producing, I can go to my performance or my HP plus mode. The machine will give me all the performance it can produce. Keeping in mind, I'm sacrificing fuel economy in this mode. If you're not in a high demand situation or an aggressive situation, it's best to run in standard mode for maximum economy. Key thing about the XE, you may notice the machine adjusting the RPMs up and down, no matter what you have the virtual gear set at or your desired ground speed. You don't have to worry about this as an operator. The machine is just pulling the RPMs down to match the desired ground speed that you want. If the machine senses that you demand more power or more torque, it will automatically raise those RPMs to produce that for you with no input from the operator whatsoever. If you wanna learn more about any of the features on the XCE, take a look at your operation and maintenance manual or possibly take a look at some of the other media we have out there available 
on the XC Next Gen Medium Wheel Loader.